2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Chicago Bulls. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Thanks very much. Well, Commissioner Adam Silver has a history lesson for those who would tell players to shut up and dribble. He says, in 1963, Bill Russell was MVP, won a title, and stood on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial for Dr. King's I Have a Dream speech. There is a through line that exists directly from Russell to our modern players. Kevin? That's a great story, D.A., thanks. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Bradley is out there with Green, and it's Ball in at the point. And for the Nets, we've got Hayward. Irving is out there with Mills, and it's Durant, and it's Claxton in at the center, filling out the middle. And now that we're finally past the trade deadline, a number of players, Greg, have to be breathing a sigh of relief. I mean, no matter how many times you're told we're not going to trade you, you're our guy. It's hard to know what to believe. DMs are professional secret keepers. Now, here's Mills. Pass to Claxton. Six to shoot. Let's go. A nice shot by Katie. Yeah, there's no quit in this guy. He just gives you great effort, and he continues to give you great production. Outside, ball. Pass to Bradley. DeRozan for three. Hands it from downtown. Up until this point, DeMar DeRozan has been very opportunistic, shall we say, from three. But now he understands it's got to be a greater part of his arsenal. Now here's Mills. Against Phoenix, he was really on his game. And it's good, two points. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. Well, I'll tell you, I love that he's not afraid to take on the size mismatch there, Greg. Doesn't matter, just make shots. Here's Levine. Last game, 26 points. Shoots the three. Another three for Chicago. Three. Boy, Levine's range, his consistency from three are so problematic. Hayward kicks to Mills. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Kevin Durant has talked about the big 15 for the Nets, but Doris depth has been a concern. Yes, but Kevin, give Kevin Durant credit because he understands that he cannot win a championship by himself. An organization has got to manage payroll with big contracts and then Take find bargain role Two players. Shot. It's going to be a key to achieving their goals. Free throw good, Mills. One of the best parts about Patty Mills is his adaptability to the club's needs. You need him to come off the bench and be that leader on the second team, he can do that. You need him to be a spot starter, he can do that as well. He is about team first. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Levine finds Green. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Bradley, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Most losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent, that's a refreshing approach. No good on that one. And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. He hits the second from the line. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. 
and you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now here's Hayward. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Good work there as it goes. No outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Chicago has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Levine passes the ball. Back to Levine. There's the dish to Bradley. Kicks to Levine. Over Irving. Levine, that's good. Levine's got five. Zach Levine working that mid-range game. So easy, so fluid. Now the pass to Mills. Stolen by Ball. By himself. And Ball slams it in. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. First personal foul. Team second. The Nets have been perfect at the line so far, line. albeit just two for two. And, and on the season, you yeah, know, they're hitting line. about 76%, which is a decent rate. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw, good Irving. This guy is an absolutely electric talent. Can completely take over a game. Kyrie Irving able to be a facilitator, a scorer, and we know he doesn't duck the big moments. Both free throws, good from Kyrie Irving. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Pass to DeRozan. Here's Levine over Irving. Mills with the rebound. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. And that one is good. Patty Mills is about winning, guys. If that means finding the open man, he'll do just that. Outside, Levine. Passes it to Green. DeRozan scanning the floor. Over Durant. DeRozan's shot is off. Well, he's a quality mid-range shooter, but he can't get that one to go. Here's Irving. Pass to Claxton. Hayward outside. Just five to shoot. It's up a three. And Kevin Durant good for three. Durant's got five now. The ability to be ready to rise and fire in that situation is so important. Kevin Durant, no doubt. And the pass to DeRozan. And just miss after miss right now. That's leading by four. Pass to Mills. Down low. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Already it's February. Let's see how the East is matching up. You look at the Bulls. They are the favorite right now to lock up the number one seed come playoff time. Sitting in first place right now and not looking like they, you know, are going to be slowing down at all. And, of course, the Nets just way behind. And right now for the Nets, they haven't had the great season that some were expecting, but it hasn't been a disaster. They just need a few things to go right for them down the stretch it's an amazing thing if you can get a couple of wins generate some momentum you've got to believe they'll be just fine now here's Durant he has five he gets it in there he's got seven a little bit of finesse against the physicality Kevin Durant doing work the wide open look here for DeRozan Hills with the rebound. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. He kicks it to Hayward. Passes it to Claxton. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. 
And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. Good to see Hayward out there on the floor for the past few years. This guy's dealt with a ton of it. And it's a shame, B.A., because when he's completely healthy, he's proven he's capable of making an all-star team. Consider this. In every season but his rookie year, he's been a double-digit scorer, and he always does it in very efficient fashion. in the action let's go to the 2k leaderboard these squads have been lights out this month in third the nets I, I just love their offensive flow lately i mean this is a dominant team offensively because of that rhythm and pace moving against levine and some nice ball movement here by chicago now here's brent defense right on him he feeds it to green and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second push in the foul. Team second. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Nets. Shooting two. So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. Free throw good green. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the next. Both free throws good from green. Brooklyn leading by six. Now, here is Irving. 23 points his last outing. Hayward outside. Wide open look. Again, the Nets for two. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. Well, working hard, building out a small lead, but you can't afford any kind of letdown here. Nailed from three-point land. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Victory eluded them last time in Chicago when they faced the Bulls. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play, and I think they'll be looking to be more composed tonight. Now, here's Ball. And uh, in the game with Memphis, he did not play well. DeRozan finds Green. Back to DeRozan. Ring shot on the way. Good. He hits the jump shot. Now just a three-point Nets lead. Well, DeMar DeRozan excels at finding space to score from the mid-range. Whether it's coming off a screen or if he has to, breaking down a defender, he'll get to that spot. Now here's Durant. He's got seven. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Irving. That one's not going to go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd. And that's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Here's Paul, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. First personal foul. And how about Ball there attacking the glass? Has terrific timing for a guard in terms of rebound. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. 
Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. Amir Coffey's checked in for the Nets. Seth Curry comes in for Patty Mills. That one drops. He ties it up. I tell you what, it's scary when you think about how much room Ball has to throw when you factor in how efficient he is already. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. And I credit the shot selection in that one. It's hard to stay patient, but you see the reward. Well, typically, Greg, great decision-making leads to great shooting percentages. I thought that team played a very smart game. showed up every night and some noteworthy performances over the last month. He's averaging 11 points a game, six assists, and six rebounds. And with his great passing, he's been a catalyst for their offense, often seeing plays even before they materialize. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Great anticipation, excellent peripheral vision. His talents are really shining through. Warren, the pass to Irving. Here's Coffee. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Just focusing on the task at hand. That's all you can do. Boy, the tide is running one way and then shifts back in the other direction. I've lost count of how many lead changes we've had here tonight. Here's Caruso. A miss that time. Would have put him up. The Nets with the lead. To the paint. Warren, good. Well, T.J. Warren's frame and game perfectly suited for a finish on the interior. Pass to Caruso. Here's Mann. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. To the middle, here's Ball. Great tee that time from Irving. Nets leading by four. Unloads from 13. Again, the Nets for two. Don't you get the sense that T.J. Warren enjoys the challenge of a defender in his grill? Curry, wide open. Offline with his three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Caruso with the ball. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Bradley. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Outside Irving. And he's good on the three ball. Irving's got seven points. Well, Kyrie Irving is a three-level scorer. The three-point shot is definitely in his arsenal. Ball dishes to DeRozan. Count that one. That's seven points for DeMar DeRozan. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Outside Warren. Curry on the wing. He's now one for two with that bucket. This guy doesn't need a whole lot of space, right? Seth Curry's so good at finding his window as a pick-and-roll basketball player. Chicago calls timeout. Doris, when it comes to three-point shooting, Seth Curry has been a model of consistency. Kevin, that's almost an understatement because he has not shot below 40% from three since a two-game stint in the 2014-15 season. Think about it. This is how good he's been. 
40% is actually low for Seth Curry. His career percentage is one of the highest of all time. checked in and checking out some numbers for Irving the last 10 games he has been on a heck of a run and he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively and back to his phenomenal efficiency from three top 10 in the league his consistent shooting creates so many openings in the defense now here's white nine points last game out releases the rebound by the Nets. Irving's got four rebounds now tonight. The pass to Warren. Curry with it. Three-pointer. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. Back to ball. From downtown, and Curry pulls it down. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Irving passes to Durant. Yep, that one goes. And now it's a 12-point Nets lead. Building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We come back right after this. margin on the scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback and guys what stands out to you from the Nets in this one for the offense firing on all cylinders they dominated that first period that's exactly the start you want you take complete command now you've got to maintain that focus Bulls trail by 10 so the Bulls five right now right Levine on the wing Green is out there with the roast, and it's Dosunmu in at the one spot. A three-pointer is right on target. Three. White's got himself on the board with three there. An assertive offensive player. White knows he has the green light to rise and fire. White against Irving. No problem on the jumper in close. Irving's got nine. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Levine deciding where to go with it. Pocket six over Warren. A putback. It's good on the putback. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. And with an update from the sidelines. Let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. The Nets have tremendous talent, of course, but there have been some challenges. KD says, I know the fans have high expectations for us, but if you're a fan, you'll appreciate Nets basketball and what we're trying to build, and you'll follow us along this journey because you never know what may happen. Kevin, back to you. Great. David, thank you. 
We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Warren. Nice D from Levine. Bulls trail by five. Here's White and Hayward with the block. Well, this is where Gordon Hayward has turned himself into a dependable two-way player. How good is he at using his length to turn away these shots? And Irving with the basket on the assist by Warren. He's got 11. In decades past, teams that led the league in threes, if they shot that same right now, would rank Greg dead last in the NBA. So with that thought, which teams of yesteryear probably should have shot more threes? And that's a good one. Kevin, I think you got to look back to the run TMC Warriors, right? How about the Larry Bird Celtics? And they could knock down the triple. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Has to do soon. Outside green. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to go on Gordon Hayward. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And the first one drops. Thomas checked in for Kyrie Irving. So one for two that time at the strike. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. That one drops for him. Well, you love the unselfishness of Gordon Hayward in that instance. You think of him as a scorer, but he's a terrific setup guy as well. Chicago calls timeout. Turn it up, Nets fans, for your Brooklyn Some numbers for Patty Mills. Here's Levine. He's got eight. Kicks it to White. Back to Levine. Outside to Rosen. On the wing. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Well, there's a tenacity, a ferocity right now about DeMar DeRozan. This guy seems to want the ball every time down the floor. Now, here's Mills. He has six. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. This break gives us the chance to see which teams have been the most successful in the transition game this month. The net second. I mean, they have really hit their stride in terms of that transition game. No doubt about it. They are playing at a great pace. Passes to Dosun. Green kicks to White. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. It's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from DeRozan. The DeMar DeRozan simply never lets the defense phase him. He plays at his pace, and he welcomes any challenge. 
Now, here's Thomas. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shoots over White. And again, it's Brooklyn converting. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Bulls. And White kicks to Levine. Outside DeRozan. That doesn't go either for DeRozan. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. Al Levine, after Gordon Hayward's three-pointer, they didn't go. Just five on the clock. Here's White. Out of hand on it, and he recovers it. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says, we're not giving up this lead. Alex Caruso is checked in for White. Nets leading by six. Here's Mills. He has six. Pass to Hayward. Makes it off the glass. Gordon Hayward. Hayward's got six points. Boy, pure strength from Hayward. Loves overcoming any challenge a defender might throw his way. Back to Levine. Here's the pass to Caruso. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Goes Zunmu. And again, Chicago. No good. Caruso against Warren. Here's Thomas. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And he's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage right around 86%. So, no doubt, yeah, he's pleased line. with that. One At least checked in for Chicago. One shot. Bulls trail by 11 some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum and the wide open shot from green and that time also a missed shot they have been board dominant in this game that's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. outside warren Contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I think one area we've clearly seen a marked improvement from T.J. Warren over his career is his willingness to take threes and to make them consistently. It's getting on par with that great mid-range game he has. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And you know, Doris, the uptick in Warren's long-range shooting has led to more minutes. Well, it certainly gives a coaching staff confidence that will help with the flow of the offense. Defenders are forced to guard him on the perimeter. They can no longer sag and be in the gaps with him. And Brooklyn making a change here. Durant's checked in. And a change for the Bulls. Balls checked in. All three throws good from Warren. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Pass to Caruso. Back to Levine to end the run. Rebound, Brooklyn. He has that confidence rolling, hitting two threes in the first, but he hasn't had one since. 
Thomas against Caruso. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. First personal foul. Third team foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And out the line. Shooting two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. We're seeing a lot of pretty lively pregame dance routines from the players. You got any of that in your repertoire, say, before we begin a broadcast? No, oh, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, I think pretty soon we should work out a few sequences. You know, get ourselves fired up. You, you game? No. Come on, Greg. I'm not sure about that. But you, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> And both free throws good for Thomas. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Ball kicks to Caruso. Now ball. Five points in the game. Offensive rebound, and Bradley gets it to go. Boy, his hard work on the offensive glass, earning an additional opportunity. Passes it to Thomas. Takes the 13-footer. That's good on the jump shot. Thomas got nine points. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Levine finds Caruso. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. The Bulls have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Shooting two. Two shots. He's off on the first. And he sinks the second. And so Curry will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Pass to KD. The pass to Coffey. From deep. Sinks the three-pointer. Coffey's got his second bucket of the night. We can get lost in the impact Kevin Durant makes as a scorer. But this guy is so willing to share the basketball. Caruso kicks the ball. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. And the Bulls with another miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Outside Thomas. Pass to Durant. Here's Coffey. Let's it go with a three. Caruso grabs the miss. And here's Levine. Eight points for him. to the right side and it's ball that time on the assist by Levine balls got seven points well because he's such a good scorer passing windows open up for Zach Levine here's Claxton guarded by Bradley the shot by KD no good and it didn't fall but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Count the basket. Seven points in the game. And you have to have an appreciation for Ball's passing skills. I mean, he just sees the floor beautifully, easily working the ball over to open teammates. Now here's Thomas. He's got nine. Right side curve. Thomas gets a wide open look. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. And the Nets lead by 15. Boy, 
has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Caruso against Kurt. Kick out to Levine. He dishes it to ball. Just four to shoot. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. It's the quickness of ball that's a problem for defenders. Solid at finding ways to get fouled on the way up. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And you know what? The work he's put in at the line starting to pay off. How about 78% on the season? And the first one at the line is good. The Nets making a switch here. Irving's checked in. That one is no good. Nets leading by 14. Here's Curry. The shot is good, and so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. I'll tell you, not a lot you can do on defense there, boy. Curry on a mission to score the basketball. Ball finds Caruso. For three, Levine hits it from three-point range. Levine's got 11. That's his first triple of the second period, third of the game. Ball against Irving. Outside Curry. They get a hand on it. That's tipped. Ball feeling it out a bit. Pass to Levine. Back to Ball. Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Yeah, the line with two shots. First one falls for him. Warren's checked in for the Nets. And the Bulls making a change also. Whitey's checked in for Alex Caruso. So he hits one of two from the strike. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. 17 points was their biggest margin. Curry passes to Durant. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Now the tremendous shooting talent that is Kevin Durant. He makes threes look effortless. Yep, it counts. Levine's got 13 points. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. On its way from Irving for two. Levine with the rebound. Now, here's Ball. Just three on the clock. It doesn't go for him. That'll do it. Let's lead by 13. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Billy. I heard you tell the guys to take it to them and play with more physicality offensively. What did you mean? Well, just I think when we're getting the ball inside around the baskets, at times we got to go up a little bit stronger and play through the contact and go to the rim. Tough sledding in there, but you got to get there. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. A fantastic game from DeMar DeRozan so far. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. 
boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. They've got Kyrie Irving. Hayward out there with Durant, and it's Mills, and it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And that's the group for Steve Nash as we begin the second half. Hayward looking over the floor. Mills with it. Shoots over ball, and that's good for two. Mills has got eight points. That is an excellent contest from the defender, but Patty Mills, accustomed to quality defense, stays locked in. Pass to Bradley. Ball from long range. Hayward grabs the board. Hayward's got four rebounds now tonight. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Now, you may not know this, but Gordon Hayward was a two-time Indiana State singles champion in tennis. He says, in high school, I was better at tennis than basketball, but I've always loved hoops more. Thankfully, I was able to grow throughout high school to get to the frame I have now. He has certainly exactly. filled out in the NBA. Kevin, back to you. Yeah, he sure has. He's been a terrific player to watch and follow. The injury is significant, but he continues on. David, thanks. Here's Mills after the made shot from Zach Levine. For three, Hayward can hit. Bulls trail by 11. On the wing, Green. Back to Levine. The pass to ball. Five to shoot. Back to Levine. Fires for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Three. Ball's got his fourth assist in this one. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine? It's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. And the Nets miss again. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. I think the communication Sorry. on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And momentum going the other way. Can, can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Back to Mills. Knocked away. And here we go. The Bulls fast break. DeRozan leading the charge. Well, and it took a terrific effort at both ends to sustain this run. They found their composure on both ends of the floor, and that is what triggered this run. Now here's Durant. 12 points for him. He 
he kicks it to Mills. Shot clock at six. They need this one. Second shot opportunity. Count it. And 11 chance for a three point play. That one on DeRozan. Defensive the game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Nicholas Not the best statistic for him in terms of his One performance shot. at the line. Very low numbers. Ayo Dosumu is checked in for Javante Green. And that one misses. Bulls trail by four. Here's Levine. He's got 20. Doesn't go that time. Here's Hayward. Rebound by the Bulls. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. Nets leading by four. Inside, Claxton, and he chains it with authority. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. And DeRozan kicks to Bradley. For three, Levine. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on DeRozan. This guy has great presence of mind. Gordon Hayward will take a pounding. He embraces a chance to get some free ones from the foul line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Nets. I'm in love with how they're moving the basketball all game long and also their ability to move without the ball. That style just makes it so difficult to defend. They've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. That free throw good from Hayward. I think it's easy to admire everything Gordon Hayward brings to the table. This guy can score at all three levels, and he can also defend. He's crucial to this team. Hayward hits them both. Here's Ball. 13 points in the game. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That'll be his second foul of the game. Thomas checked in for Kevin Durant. Now into the lineup for your next Kevin Thomas. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Irving with the steal. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Very healthy six for nine. Well, what a move from Kyrie to keep the defenders guessing as he moves in for the score. Has to go soon. Outside, ball. Krills it from outside. Ball's got seven now in this quarter. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. Time They're out, finding out. holes now in the D. Timeout called the Nets. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's going to sting fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up.
here to put on the show your Brooklyn Nets. Big round of applause for the Brooklyn Nets kids. Bulls on D, trailing by four. Knocked loose. And Mills kicks to Hayward. Five on the clock. Goes up at the stripe. Again, the Nets for two. Well, remember the comfort zone that Gordon Hayward possesses when he's in the mid-range. There's an ease and a confidence about what he does. Now, here's Dosumu. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And, and they continue to control the glass. Irving surveying the floor. Hayward against DeRozan. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. T.J. Ward, he's checked in for the Nets. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for the Bulls. Free throw drops for Hayward. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Bulls. Nine point game. It's DeRozan top of the key over Hayward. And DeRozan with the basket on the assist by Levine. Levine's got three assists tonight. You know, in the face of good defense, DeMar DeRozan never gets sped up. He's calm, he's cool, he's collected, and his focus makes that an easy shot. Thomas, good. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. Levine against Warren. Here's Dosunmu. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. Shooting two. Shooting two. And he makes the first. So for the Nets. Amir Coffey comes in for Nicholas Claxton. And Curry subbed in for Thomas. And the Bulls making a change here as well. Mann's checked in. He hits both from the strike. Here's Irving. 15 points in the game. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. Well, this is one of the best in the league at converting off contact. What body control by Kyrie Irving. And here is Dosumu. Man passes to Levine. Passes it to Caruso. Shot clock at five. Off target from outside. That's leading by nine. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second personal foul. I love the aggressiveness of Seth Curry right there. Despite that frame, guys, he is not afraid of getting fouled. First trip to the line for him here. And out the line. Shooting two. first one falls. Well, I think it's fair to say that Seth Curry has found his footing in this league. He gains more and more confidence every year. Javante Green, he's checked in for Chicago. Kobe White comes in for Dosumu. And 
and both free throws good for Curry. Bulls trail by 11. And DeRozan kicks to White. Pass to Caruso. Here's Green, defended by Hayward. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Mann. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Mann's got his first three points of the game. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Pass to Curry. Outside Irving. Up top Warren. DeRozan defending. Warren, good. The way Warren controls his body is truly impressive. He's got the frame to absorb it. Passes it to Caruso. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by White. Just didn't get his hands up in time on that one. They weren't on the same page there. Nets leading by 10. Outside Irving. Pass to Hayward. Here's Coffey. Let's the three fly. Sinks the triple. Coffey's got his third basket of the night right there. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Out to White. Fires the three. Gordon Hayward comes up with the rebound. Hayward's got six rebounds now in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Right on the bucket. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. Pass to man. Back to White. Shoots over Curry. White. Good. White. White's got five now. And it's Irving with the ball for Brooklyn. 17 points was their biggest margin. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. And Amir Coffey has already proven that he's a talented scorer. Kevin, somebody in his position must understand what his role is and maximize that role. And what you love about Amir is he focuses on taking high percentage shots all within the flow of the offense. A very high IQ player. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And it's White missing. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Pass to Coffey. The basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got six assists here tonight. Bulls trail by 15. And DeRozan kicks to White. Caruso looking for an opening. To the inside. To the paint. DeRozan's shot is off. Nets leading by 15. 
outside Curry. Passes to Hayward. Irving against Green. Buries it down low. Irving's got eight points in the quarter. Kyrie Irving is one of the most clever scorers in the game of basketball. And when he starts to feel it, it's going to be a long night for the defense. Here's Mann. Outside, White. Dishes it to Green. Shot clock at three. Here's Caruso. Steps back and trains the jump shot. 19 seconds left to play in the third. Outside for Curry. Here's Hayward. Back to Curry. Pass to Warren. And here's Irving. A three ball. Bangs home the trifecta. Irving's got 11 in the second half. Uh, Kyrie Irving gets off the ball, goes to the catch and shoot game. Yeah, that's pure. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And we'll be back with you shortly. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the court for the Bulls, getting this fourth quarter started. All out there with Dosumu. Then it's Zach Levine. Then there's Bradley. And it's DeRozan in at the fourth slot. KD dishes to Warren. Five on the clock. Here's Irving. It's on target from the high post. Irving's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Nets. Kyrie Irving getting to that mid-range scoring ability. Sometimes it's the only shot available. Warren against Levine. DeRozan trying to get open. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the media is able to vote on awards like all rookie, but Greg, those awards can end up determining a player's max salary. Any concern there? No doubt there is, but somebody has to decide those awards, right? And no matter who it is, there's always going to be some pushback. So as long as contracts are tied to them, that power will be in oh, someone else's break. hands. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. I think what you have to appreciate about Zach Levine is he is becoming such a well-rounded player willing to share the basketball, willing to hit the boards, and certainly willing to become a more efficient shooter. And the second free throw, good. And it's Irving with the ball for the Nets. There's the pass to Mills. It's Durant on the wing. Down low. It's stolen by Bradley. Levine kicks the ball. Pass to Dosun. Or three. Levine. It's hauled in by Coffee. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Can't connect from short range. Bulls trail by 19. Now here's Dosumu. The V2 DeRozan. Count it. And that's now 21 points for DeMar DeRozan. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. Durant feeling it out a bit. Here's Irving. Misses the baby hook. Here's Chicago. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. They get the rebound. Ball. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. There's just a feel 
that ball plays with that, that really separates him from so many other players. He, he's superb at finding ways here to score in the paint. Now here's Durant. Passes it to Irving. Warren on the wing. Six to shoot. Nice D from DeRozan. Bulls trail by 15. With the drive. Dosumu shots good. Six points for Dosumu. And that's a case where DeMar DeRozan's teammates benefiting from him being a willing distributor. This is a very team first guy. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. Claxton's checked in. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. And during that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear Steve Nash talking to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Dosunmu, the pass to DeRozan. Over KD. That is good. And the Nets' lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from DeMar DeRozan. Pass to Claxton. Mills, that's a two-pointer. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Amongst the best in the league once he gets in rhythm. And in a catch-and-shoot, that's Patty's game to a T. The pass to Dosunmu. Bradley kicks to Levine. Bulls moving the ball around. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. DeMar DeRozan, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. He's off on the second. Don't you have the sense that DeMar DeRozan feels like he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe against anyone at the offensive end? He's like, bring your best defender. I'm up to the challenge. And Levine with the slam. Well, multiple-time winner of the slam dunk contest. Levine has got a creative streak. Pass to Mills. It's Durant on the wing. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. That's good from Durant. Doris, let me ask you this. Is Kevin Durant the greatest scoring forward ever? 
I think he is Kevin, but I also think that limits his greatness because when Kevin Durant is done and you consider the combination of his handle, his shooting, and the size, we've never seen that combination to this level. He will go down as one of the greatest ever, regardless of attribute you're trying to assign to him. Now, here is Irving. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Shoots from the high post. The putback, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Nets lead by 15. And, and folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. It's tipped. Now, ball. A rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Warren dishes to Mills. Warren against Levine. Warren with the ball. Back to Mills. Fires the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Bradley's got eight rebounds in this game. Ball, the pass to Levine. Passes it to Dosuma. Over Irving. Dosunmu shots good. Brooklyn leading by 13. Pass to Mills. Back to Irving. The dish to Mills. Outside Irving. Warren on the wing. Guarded by Levine. Warren kicks to Irving. Cranes the three-pointer. Irving's got 16 points here in the second half. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond his second three of the half right there. The pass to Brantley. Here's Dosunmu. Over Irving. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Dosunmu's got six points in the quarter. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. Pass to Warren. Right side, Irving. Here's Claxton, guarded by Bradley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Fourth personal foul, team second. At the line, shooting for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton stepping the line with two shots. That free throw, no good. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Nets. Green, he's checked in for Chicago. No good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They trail by 14. Thien passes the ball. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Mills. And here's Irving. Over Levine. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got 18 points now here in the second half. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Passes it to Levine. A three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assists. DeRozan's got four assists in the game. Pass to Claxton. Outside Irving. 
need to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Bulls trail by 13. Shoots from 14. DeRozan's shot is off. Brooklyn's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's his third foul of the game. They're doing well overall, but the turnovers have been the exception. The Bulls have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Durant against DeRozan. Now the pass to Green. Inside, Levine. That one goes in. 31 points for Zach Levine. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Irving kicks to Hayward. Over Green. Hayward can't hit. And that's an important rebound, and especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. The lead now in single digits. DeRozan's got 26 points. Well, I think one thing about DeRozan, I don't think there's a phase in the game that he can't score from. This guy is so well-rounded. And they'll get another chance. Hayward outside. No good, unable to end this run. Bulls trail by nine. Chicago Power. Zach Levine. Second timeout called the Nets. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too Nets. many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. We got some t-shirts for the loudest, craziest, most exciting fans in the building. If you want one, put your hands in the air and wave those babies like you just don't care. player of the game, Anzo Ball. And his shooting percentage reflects just how efficient he's been. It's better than 50%, always a sign of a solid offensive performance. But his movement and his shot selection have also both been tremendous. Pass to Mills. against Levine, and the shot goes down. Irving's got nine points now in the quarter. Well, contact is not going to prohibit Kyrie Irving from scoring. This guy has great instincts. Katie against DeRozan. Shot clock at six. At three, Levine, and it's Tony Bradley with the foul. That's his fifth foul. Think burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Pass to Mills. Let's it go from deep. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. DeRozan against KD. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. DeRozan's got 28 points for the game. Brooklyn leading by 12. Left side, Irving. Mills passes to Hayward. Back to Mills. Launches a three. And the Nets, another three. 
And so just rolling to the finish line now in what has been a very confident-looking performance for the Nets. We got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High-scoring game. Bucket after bucket. They were really in attack mode all game long. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And they will walk out of here feeling really good about themselves today, guys. A big win over a conference foe they'd split their previous two games with. And something we've come to almost expect is greatness from this guy. Such an overall great performance it was for Kyrie Irving. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. Here is Durant following the score by DeMar DeRozan. KD's shot is good. And the Nets lead by 15. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Now here's DeRozan. Another one falls for Chicago. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Here's Mills. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Irving up top. Guarded by Levine. Brings the three while he's being fouled, and he might be able to make this a four-point play. Shot's good. And you can sense that these one fans, these players, they are ready to celebrate. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Dragic. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. And you got to come in this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.